जेनेटिक मैपिंग इन ह्यूमेंस जेनेटिक मैपिंग इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज लिंकेज एनालिसिस लिंकेज एनालिसिस प्रोवाइड द क्लूस अबाउट द पोजीशन ऑफ द जीन्स ऑन द क्रोमोसोम्स और वेयर द जीन्स आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द क्रोमोसोम्स दिस मेथोडोलॉजी इज यूज्ड फॉर द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ द डिजीज जीन्स there are many single gene disorders in case of humans and in case of other animals that have been identified with the help of linkage analysis the most common disease they are duchenne muscular dystrophy retinitis pigmentosa and hereditary hearing loss these are all single gene disorders that have been identified with the help of linkage analysis or genetic mapping how genetic mapping or linkage analysis is performed the researchers or the scientist they identify the phenotype or a family where that disease is running and they collect the blood samples or the tissue samples from the blood samples or tissue samples they isolate the dna scientists they isolate the dna from the blood samples of the family members in which the disease is prevalent or it is running once they isolate the dna then they use different molecular techniques to identify for typing the dna once they type the dna with the help of typing they reach close to the region where there is a disease gene before the scientists they reach to the disease gene with the help of genetic markers they get a idea that where can be the disease gene or where can be the a rough location of that gene this is performed with the help of the genetic markers there are different types of the genetic markers some are called as str short tandem repeat markers polymorphisms or restriction fragment length polymorphism these are the techniques or these are the genetic markers which are used to reach close to the disease gene if there are more markers in that region or they are closely linked with the disease there will be more chances to identify the disease gene here is the example of the genetic mapping in case of humans this is the chromosome chromosome 11 and a gene is present on p arm this is p arm this is q arm of this chromosome and a gene responsible for sickle cell anemia is present at a position 11 p 1 5.5 so this is the location of this gene in this disease amino acid that is polar in nature is converted with an other amino acid that is valine which is non polar due to changing of this amino acid the individuals which have this change in their normal sequence in the normal sequence there will be adenine while in case of affected individuals they have thymine in place of adenine this is a a is for normal adenine and in place of adenine there is t thymine so adenine is replaced by thymine the individuals they develop a disease that disease is called as sickle cell anemia genetic mapping is a method that provides the clues that where are the genes located on the chromosomes